Yo, future fade. Play me a beat, bro. <clears throat> yeah. Get a feel for the beat. Warm up my voice. Mm hmm. Alright, it's a nice little beat. It's a nice little beat. Ooh, that little kicking. You hear that little kicking? Alright, hold up. Hold up. It's for you, baby. It's Weird Wednesday. No bars. My favorite day of the week. Y'all didn't draw my bars last time. So I'm here again to speak. Bars. Hold on, my blicky on. Stiffy on. Hit you with my Mozambique. Mozambique, That's yeah. That's what they call technique. Da, 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 da. Sorry, Dad. Huh? Enough said. It's bah, Weird bah. Wednesday. Where you at? I don't see you here. Oh, wait. That's because you a low level tier. Oh, is you dead ass right now? Oh. Yo, wait, wait. Uh, hold up. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to another episode on Weird Wednesday. If you're not familiar with what Weird Wednesday is, every single Wednesday you and I sit down together and we react to funny, comedy, short, horror, whatever type of films I decided to pick for today, you and I react to them. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so the first one that we picked is actually another Siren Head horror short film now this channel called shutter authority by far has the best siren head films i've ever seen we actually reacted to one last week i believe and let me just tell you that editing the vfx everything about this is on fleek like it's perfect let's go ahead and get into it by the way the original link to the channel and videos will be down in the description go check them out I, 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 I can't even talk, but I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited right now, bro. Uh, okay, 1080p, yes, sir. Let's go ahead and get into it. It has all been confirmed that the mysterious attacks were done by this creature that has now been dubbed Siren Head. In every case that we've reported on, including the father who had gone missing, Siren Head. to be discovered 300 miles from Arizona. Man, I fucking I hate him. this dude, Siren they Head. to be connected. Excuse my language. Oh, so they're tracking Siren Head. They're tracking Siren Head. Tracker proximity alert. Let's pull over there. Let's pull over. I don't know if you want to do that, guys. Damn, they really out here tracking Siren Head. I got the little gadgets, the little te the the technology. Has been initiated. Please check it on the map. That actually looks kind of cool. Tracking Siren Head. Where's he at? There he is, right there. I think I see something. That don't look like Siren Head. It's just a tree. What? See a glitch. It's going down. <laughs> it crashed. We're gonna have to bring it back. Warning. Signal is lost. Let me go and check. Let me go and check. Bro, bro, bro. Recovery initiated. Please connect your phone to the tracking device. This is a lot of technology. Well, there goes, there goes that man. RIP. Hold up. Recovery has been stopped. Please press restart to continue. Recovery has been stopped. Please press restart to continue. Recovery has been stopped. Please press restart Yo, to continue. Yeah, that's Recovery has been stopped. Please oh, you done. Hold up. Oh, yo. I hate that noise. I 
hate that noise. Hey, get inside. Where did this dude come from? I thought we. I thought get inside. She died. Get inside! Nobody's just standing there. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, hold on. You saw the way my man was running? Siren Head can actually run like that. This, see, I always talk trash about Siren Head. Of course, he's not real. He's like a fictional character. Like, he's a fictional... Like he's made up. But just, like, imagine... He wasn't made up. And imagine we actually had a siren head, a, a siren head living in this world. And that, just like imagine that for a second. And you just hear sirens outside of your house. And this dude is just coming around terrorizing your city. Like how terrified would you be? I mean, me? I would fight this dude. You know me. I told you guys this in the, on the main channel yesterday. I told you I would fight this dude any day of the week. You think I'm scared of siren head? Siren Head? You think I'm scared of Siren Head? Do you not see how ugly this dude is? All I gotta do is just nag on his tiny little toothpick legs, break him, snap his head in half. What's up, Siren Head? Siren Head. I'm in Long Beach, California right now. My address is one. <laughs> What's up? Pull up to my house, Siren Head. If you're real, I'm right here. If you're real, I'm right here. Dude, just the way he runs. The way he runs is terrifying. Oh, he caught your shit. It's over. Oh! You're dead. How are you not dead with that one? That one little shake and I would have been knocked out. Like, look at this. The editing is crazy on this. I seriously, I respect this. Oh, that man got yeeted. I thought he was about to eat him. There is not a lot of channels like this on YouTube. And this is like once in a lifetime thing. You cannot run into a lot of channels like this. I'm sorry, but I, I no one's out there doing it like them. They're killing it, bro. All right, so the next one that I picked out for us to watch is actually by a channel called Llama Arts. This one is called School Lockdown and it's a it's an animated horror film. Let's go ahead and check it out. Original link to the channel and video down in the description wait 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 before we start 1080p let me hear you say it yes sir it was a typical boring day in calculus only it was friday seventh period meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us so calculus everybody was mad, getting antsy right? in their seats i could tell we didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers so our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered School us to shooter? the back corner of the room. That's my guess. We shooter? all sat in silence for about two minutes and then the usual buzz. I mean, why else does a school go on lockdown nowadays? An earthquake? We, we never had those. I think the only 
reason you'd have a lockdown is if someone dangerous is on your your school premises, and that's why you would go on lockdown. I mean, like we did warm ups and drills, but we never went on school lockdown in any of the schools I went to, and that's in Jersey, California, and Florida. Just saying, like buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room seized, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. We all looked at each other, realizing this must be serious. A few more minutes of waiting later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment that I started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other Fuck to see that. our I'm tears reactions. Window, the banging then moved from you the lockers to up. our classroom door. And that's no. when one of the crying girls screamed no. The banging on the door only grew worse as the man started screaming, open up. Two I of mean, the girls in the clip. Listen, bro, listen. All right, I know, I know I, I keep pausing, but hold up. There, if this were to ever, ever happen in real life, there's a whole classroom, classroom full of kids. Like, you got people in your classroom. It's one guy. If you all swarmed them, one of you might go down. Two, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. But hey, that's better than the rest of us dying, right? Like, we all just swarm him. If he got a gun, he shoots us. But at least we might be able to get him down. That's that's option A. Option B is jumping out a window. Because I'm not going to sit there and die. Please don't kill me. The fuck? He's gonna kill you anyways. Like, the dude is here to kill you. Glass were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door. But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person, until we could not hear him anymore. I'd say ten minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the dean came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so okay. the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked, and Resume to not let teaching. any students leave for Resume any reasons. You know how stupid that sounds? The most disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end of the school, and according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. Stop beating him with the mop. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. My entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no idea if this man was ever found, but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs. Yeah, there's a lot of stupid people in this story. The janitor, the teachers resuming teaching, and police arriving like 45 minutes late. That's what it sounds like. I mean, hey, if I was the janitor and I had the mop in my hand, you, you know, just, you know, give him a little, a little. Alright, so the next one that I picked out is actually by a channel called Nightmare Tales. This is our first time reacting to them. The Hospital Visitor, oh, Scary Story bitch. Animated. Okay, I'm kind of curious to see how this one plays. 1080p, yes yeah, sir, original link to the video channel down in the description. Nightmare Tales. In an old hospital on West Java, a young male nurse walks the halls, having just started his shift earlier that evening. Okay. He always works the night shift, mm -hmm. where he prefers the peace and quiet it brings, allowing him to deliver food and medicine to the patients without having to be bothered by the senior staff. That's cool. On this particular night, the first patient on his rounds was an old lady who had been diagnosed with cancer. It's tough. 
When he entered the room, he saw a young lady sitting with her, talking and laughing. <laughs> Evening, ma'am. Please be sure to take all of this medicine, he said. Then the young lady looked up with a smile to thank the young male nurse. A few nights later, the male nurse delivered some food to the eastern wing of the hospital, where there was an old man who had been diagnosed with lung disease. He was surprised to see the young lady again sitting with the old man, talking and laughing. That was awfully weird. Evening, sir, the nurse said. Here's your food. Please do your best to try and finish it. The old man and lady looked up and gave their thanks to the male nurse. I bet. So she's just going around The nurse couldn't love. help but think that it was a sad coincidence that the young lady had two of her relatives being treated in the hospital. Or she's just going around spreading love. The next day, so those were when sick. he was taking medicine to a young girl with leukemia, he once again found the lady sitting, talking, Damn. and laughing with the patient. Ah, what's wrong with that though? The nurse couldn't help but wonder how it was possible that this young lady could have so many relatives being treated in the same hospital at Maybe the same time. Maybe she's just spreading love. Love. Later on that shift, when he found time to take a break, he saw the young woman sitting down in one of the hallways. Well, talk to her. He took a seat and started up a conversation. Evening, miss. Digits. I couldn't help but wonder, are all those patients I've seen you visiting your relatives? She replied, yes, they are. They're her relatives? He said, oh, I'm so sorry that they're unwell. Yes, but that's why I came to comfort them, she said. He thought that was really nice of her. And then they continued talking for several minutes, laughing and smiling the whole time. Up until the point where he asked, Miss, just what were you talking about with your relatives? They all seem so happy and relaxed with you. It seems like you're able to entertain anyone. She began, Well, yeah, it's my duty right to there. comfort them, to calm them, and let them know that their pain will soon be over, and we'll meet again, somewhere. I must pity them. Their time will soon be over. The nurse was shocked at what she had said. What do you mean, soon be over? He asked. Oh, you'll see soon enough, she replied. I bet you get him he my sat there, hand. speechless. Then she gave him a wave and said, I'm sorry, but I have to go. No, 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 it's you're not late. going nowhere. Hold on, you sit right there, ma'am. I will literally tie her hands to the chair. That's like, that's like a threat right there. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's a threat. As a nurse, if I was ever a nurse and this happened to me, you get in my back and- And I have other relatives to visit. Other relatives? Struggling Stop the to cat. speak, the nurse croaked. I smell of cat. Of course. Have a nice evening. The young lady stood up. Ooh. And as she turned, <gasps> exposed a huge gaping fuck? hole in the back of her head. Then, looking back at the nurse, she pointed straight at him and said, Your time will soon be over too. No, it's not. Because I would have had my blicky out. And you would have been dead. A week later, the nurse had a tragic accident. While heading to the hospital for work. It's tough. He passed away at the scene. What? Yo... R.I.P. May you rest in peace, bro. That was actually a good one. Okay, so the next one that we are watching is by a channel called Alter. This one actually just came out too. It's called Kissed. Kissed, huh? That's it. I mean, there's really only one definition for kissed. So it's literally like a kiss. Oh, hell no! Oh! Oh! This is my type of class. Never mind, hold on, what the hell? You don't talk very much, do you? 
That's just fine with me. Guess I'll be the one doing the talking. Alright, this is psychopath. This is psychopath. My my. Yo, Happy you are you weird. You are weird, bro. They told me they found you at the bottom of a lake. You drowned. Your lungs filled with the water and mud. What were you doing down there? You are a psychopath. What the f You are a psychopath! You know, you're one of the prettiest girls I've ever worked on. I've seen all different types this of This is a psychopath. Here. Old people. Cut, cut the, the cameras. cameras, bro. Dead, Dead ass, ass, cut the cameras. Kids. Even babies. People that are torn in half, all cut up, missing limbs. They took a lot of work. Let me guess, he's gonna kiss Not her. You. You're easy. Just a couple touch ups and. Voila. You're done. I like you. Can we just pause for a second? Um, I, I, the, the one thing that I do fear, I mean, I think everybody does, but it's actually dying. Like, I fear death so bad because I actually believe there's, a, there's an afterlife. There's hell and heaven. I believe that. But this right here is like some next level type of stuff. You are setting yourself up for a curse. Like... That's somebody's body. Their soul has left. And this right here is a psychopath. Damn. I wish I actually never clicked on this video because this shit is weird. Like, just watching this makes me feel uncomfortable. He's gonna kiss her, I think. Like, dude, what the hell is your problem, bro? This poor girl died. Bro, you are stroking her hair and everything. You are a freak, bro. This is the type of dude that will always be a freak. He will never be anything in life. He won't have a wife. He won't have kids. Dude is a freak. No way. I can't watch this. No, you did not. You did. Oh, that makes me shiver. Let's get you cleaned up. I have chills going down my back and on my shoulders right now. She's gonna haunt him. Let's seal up those lips so you can't kiss and tell, darling. Hmm? You are fucked in the head. Sweet dreams, beautiful. What the hell did we just watch? Alright, now they're just getting way too weird. Hey, buddy. Come here, you little weirdo. Yeah, you. I'm doing the little voice acting. You wanna kiss me, right? You wanna kiss me, right? She's gonna pop that shit right open. Watch. Yeah, what I say, what I say. 
and she's coming out. Oh, you done for it, bro. Just grab that knife, <laughs> break it right in your neck. <laughs> you done for it. Watch. Jump scare. 101. I know this. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ooh. Alright, this is weird. Oh, she hit you with that. I like you too. Are you still sick and beautiful? No, no, no. Yeah. She's really with this shit, bro. She's really with the shits. Kissed. Hey, I like that little music that they just put in the end. <laughs> All right, this is a good one right here. All right, so the next one that I found is by Crypt TV. This one is called Seven Rules, and it's a short film. I'm not sure if it's scary, but hey, that's our job to check it out, right? 1080p. Let's go ahead and get into it. Seven Rules. Ms. Maneo? What? In the what? Hold on, run that Ms. back. Ms. Maneo. Ms. What is she saying, bro? Is she got a British accent? I can't Ms. understand. Ms. Okay. No, she don't. Wait, I think she called Ismail. That's a name. Seven rules. Oh, wait, my bad. Thanks again for answering the listing I posted. And welcome to my home. I'm so glad you could make it, Michael. Mikasa, okay, hold up. I believe, as most people should, that your home is a reflection of your soul. Tonight I am tasking you with preserving my soul. Mikasa is not Sukasa, so please do not treat it as such. My house is there are house. seven what rules that, that I ask you to follow. This does not need to be difficult. Seven rules that I asked It is for. merely your offering to me for this paid one night getaway. Assuming everything goes well and all the rules have been followed, your $200 payment will be deposited to your account at 9 a.m. So Here are my home's seven rules. Continued on other side. Actually, I found some space at the bottom. Number one. There's wine on the counter, but you must not have any before 8.30 p.m. And you absolutely must not have any after 9.30 p.m. Okay. Number two. Edgar, my cat, likes to be fed early. Please leave out his food promptly at 6 p.m. You will most likely not see him during your stay, but you will hear him. Number three. The couch is for sitting. If you feel the need to lie down, you must use the bedroom I made up for you. Number four, no guests, no noise, no parties, no exceptions. Number five, we do not lock doors in our home and neither will you. Number six, turn oh, off- No, 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 run that back. We do not lock doors in our home. So what you're saying is, everybody come rob me. How do fu Lock doors in our home, and neither stupid. will you. Number six, turn off any and all electronics before you go to sleep. Number seven, That's a problem. do not enter the room at the end of the hallway. Oh, there goes our horror part. She's gonna enter the room. Like a dumbass. Look at her, you, you can just tell she's one of those dummies. That <laughs> she's gonna do it, I know it. <laughs> I know that curious And the Wi-Fi look. password is fuzzy123. Wi-Fi password. All right. 5 a.m. She can't break any of these rules. Do not sleep on the couch. Do not lay on the couch. This is a weird one. I kind of like it, though. Except for the do not lock your doors part. Because that shit is just stupid. <laughs> do not lock your doors. Yeah, I. Right. Let me get robbed. 
Do not lay down. She's gonna lay down, please. Okay, I thought she's gonna lay down. 6 p.m. Feed the cat. Feed the cat. That's it? Oh. Are you taking out this job? They better be paying me over 500 racks if I'm gonna be doing this job. Because this sounds like if you mess up, you die. You can't pay for my life? I mean, my life, you can't put a price on it. You can't put a price on anyone's life. No wine before 8.30. Bitch, don't give me that look. No noise. No noise. You heard? No noise. Look at you. Like, punch the TV. Turn it off. Alright. What? I don't know why you don't believe me with this no. stuff. Do you think I don't know what areas of their feet people wax? I used to work at a beauty salon. I was a receptionist. Do you think in 1700 you would have been a pirate, a conqueror? You lost it. You done. Or you, you, you're drunk. Look at you. Do you think if I mix red wine Shoes with Coca-Cola, it'll taste better? Really? This is or the worse. disrespect. Ah, oh, you deserve to die. I think better. I could pour it right in. 935. Broke rules. No music, no live TVs. You broke every single rule. Every single rule. You had seven. Rules. I mean, like, okay, technically six because locking your door is not a rule, at least on my list. But you broke every single. All right, you dying. Someone's killing you today. You locked the door. Never mind. She broke that rule too. Hey. You hate to see it. Who's in there? Do not go in that. Do not break the seventh rule. Like, stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> How can you be this stupid? Hello? Hello? Bitch, you stupid. Somebody in there? <laughs> I, I can't with you stupid people. How can you be that stupid? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You had seven rules and you broke all of them. You didn't follow the rules. <laughs> no one ever follows the rules. <laughs> Follow the rules. I wouldn't even take the job, actually. My bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off with this one. This one is called Hitchhiking Horror Stories. It's by Llama Art. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. 1080p. This will be the last one we'll watch. Three months after I turned 16 in 2005, I got my first car. A 99 right. Toyota Camry. On a warm Damn. Saturday night, when my friend Alex invited me over to one of his friend's big parties, I knew I wouldn't be in a condition to drive the Camry home afterward. So we carpooled with Alex's girlfriend, Brianna. 
we lived in the countryside of Virginia, meaning less big parties. Meaning when there was a big party, it was a huge deal and everyone would go. We lived about 5 to 10 minutes away from this kid's house. I knew where he lived as I was acquainted with him, but not exactly friends. The whole ride there, we took the same two-lane highway type road through the woods, and this kid's house was actually on this road further down. At certain points on this road, there were a few houses on either side, and then it would just go back to being a long, empty highway again. The house was tiny, like a lot of houses around the area, but the party was held outside anyway, since his closest neighbors were relatively far away, and noise wasn't an issue. Okay. I'll skip most of the party up until the point that Brianna, who was supposed to be our designated driver, had to suddenly leave for a small family emergency. Alex said it was fine and that we'd find a ride home. Well, fast forward another few hours and another few drinks, and I could barely even walk straight. I checked my watch, and it was like 2 in the morning. I figured it was time to go. Don't I started looking for Alex, but I couldn't find him anywhere. In fact, it seemed like everybody I knew had already left. I could barely even think straight, but I was still car? furious at the fact that Alex could have actually left without me. I asked to use the party host's phone and dialed Alex's home number. After two tries, I gave up and then realized I shouldn't wake his family up. Wake his so, family up? You took he They took your car, if I'm not mistaken. Wake it. And besides, wake his family up. Boy, you need a ride. I've actually never been to a party in my life like a family gathering yeah but a party party with drugs and alcohol i've stayed far away from that my entire life i actually was working like i had to actually get a job i didn't have time for partying my family was not in that position to be doing that so i don't know how this whole party thing works apparently people ditch you though not knowing what else to do I dizzily stepped out onto the road and began walking back home. Walking back. I knew this walk up. would take anywhere from half an hour to an hour in my condition. Maybe after 15 minutes of walking down the road, the slight shine of car headlights on the road was fading in from behind me. Yeah, so Jumping for up. joy inside, I lifted up my arm and stuck out my thumb. As the car neared, it slowed down and came to a stop yeah. right next to me. The man driving the 98 Ford Explorer rolled down the window and asked where you headed. I told him my house was just down the road and beyond a right turn, probably slurring my words beyond comprehension. He chuckled and told me to hop in. I thanked <laughs> him and <laughs> joyously hopped into the truck. Dumbass. I was exhausted, and I remember completely disregarding things the guy was asking me because I was so close to just passing out. And that's what happened. The memories of being in that truck turned to a fog, as I'm sure I passed out. The next thing I remember, I woke up still in the moving truck. The guy looked at me and left, but didn't say anything. I looked around and real. <laughs> I would just, I would just, I would just start beating his ass. I be all boop. Yo, that's actually crazy, bro. That is actually crazy. Like I would literally start beating him up. I think everybody would do that. Car crash, I don't care. We die. If you die, I'm dying with you. If, if I die, you dying with me. That, you want to kidnap me? That's how we gonna play. Nah, but um, all jokes aside, bro, I know a lot of you are in high school and you're probably growing up too. If you're going to a party, just make sure you tell your parents the truth. Tell your parents, I'm going to a party. I'm sure some will understand, some might not understand, but that's okay. But you need someone you can trust to take you home after. So stay safe out there. The road we were on wasn't familiar. I nervously asked, uh, where are we going? He then said, So what were you doing out this late anyway? Answer my damn question first. As the first. man answered my very straightforward question with another irrelevant question, the sobering reality of the situation hit me. Uh, you can, you can let me out anywhere, I told the man. The man responded with a firm no. Oh, then shit, you get in I my felt head. like throwing up as he said that. No, I really actually felt like I was going to throw up. You get in my hands. I started to gag as I felt more and more nauseous by the second. Throw up on him, The man took his eyes up. off the road to look at me, and that's when I thought of the perfect distraction. I turned in his direction as I continued to gag, and he started to kind of lean away and slow down the car. 
Thankfully, I drank as much as I did because I finally threw up and made a point of doing it all over the man's lap. The man yelled in frustration and stopped the car, and that's when I took it upon myself to run for my life into the woods and duck behind a few bushes. Woods, bro, just start beating him off. The man came following the into the woods with a flashlight, and on two separate occasions, he shined the light straight over me without noticing. Eventually, I heard his footsteps walk even further into the woods past me. That was when I ran back to his truck, but unfortunately, Full he gang. was smart enough to lock it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, shit. By some miracle, I saw another car approaching in the distance, and I ran out into the middle of the street, waving my arms like a lunatic. Uh -huh. The car tried to avoid me, but I wouldn't let it. They were forced to stop, and I yelled at them to help me before they came back. Once I told them that I was kidnapped by the man who was driving that Ford Explorer, the driver agreed to give me a lift. No, Not to the police you. station or anything, but to my house. I made it back safely, where I couldn't thank the driver enough. I immediately woke up my parents and told them. My dad wanted to know if I got his tag number. And then I felt like punching myself in the face. I failed to get the simplest information from the guy that would have allowed me to actually properly report him. All I knew was that he drove a faded blue 99 Ford Explorer. I made sure to give Alex a piece of my mind, and part of me always held a grudge against him ever since just for abandoning me at a party without telling nah, me. You get him, uh, you get I haven't ass. seen him in four years now, however, and this was actually the first time I even thought about this incident for almost a year now. Getting As time goes on, even the worst of memories may start friend. to fade. But after writing this to share with the internet, it's once again fresh in my mind. Sheesh. Well, why, why would you get in this car? 2 a.m., you're drunk, out of your mind. It's a creepy old dude. Common sense, bro. Common sense. That plays a huge role. Like I said, bro, stay safe out there. I know a lot of you are growing up. A lot of you are going through the phase of I want to party. I want to go have fun. I want to get guys, get girls, whatever you are into. But just be a little safe, okay? Because it's a very evil world we live in. So please, be safe out there. Your life is precious. It matters. Don't be like, oh, I'm, I'll only have a few drinks. I'll be fine. I'll be on my way home. No. Take somebody you trust. Multiple people if you can. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's Weird Wednesday. We definitely picked out some... Well, we. <laughs> we. Who is we? Who is we? I definitely picked out some horror films for us, for we to react to. Um, I hope you all enjoyed them. I think this was like a really good Weird Wednesday. Probably my favorite. Anywho, uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. I hope you guys are all doing good, taking care of yourselves, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day. Wake up, get up, get up there.